In this video, you're gonna learn how to make money only using Canva and CapCut. I'm 100% certain that you've already seen those faceless accounts blowing up on YouTube Shorts and TikTok. If you've ever wondered how they do it, I'm here to help. Today, I'll walk you through how you can start your own faceless content creation journey, completely free, using just two simple tools, Canva and CapCut. Don't worry, it's easier than you think, and by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to get started. Let's dive in, starting with Canva. I'll be using the web version to give you the same experience as a new user, so if you've never used Canva before, you can follow along step by step. All right, we're now on Canva. You might be asked to sign up with your email if you don't have an account yet, but don't worry, it's a quick and straightforward process that shouldn't take more than a minute as long as you've got an email account. As you can see, I already have an account, so none of that was necessary to me. Once you're in, click the Create Design button. Scroll down to custom size and change the units to centimeters and set the resolution to 9 by 16. This is the perfect size for most phone screens and ideal for platforms like TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Now this is where the magic begins. I've already prepared a script for the video we'll create today. It's going to be in the health niche, a straightforward informative video that provides real value to the viewer. And that's the key, especially if you're starting a faceless channel, always aim to add value. It's crucial for keeping your audience engaged and coming back for more. You may be asking, why are we starting with Canva? Well, Canva is like a gold mine, especially with this AI image generator tool. I don't know why more creators aren't talking about this. Everyone seems to be distracted by other tools like Lumen5 or expensive platforms that just drain your money and time. Trust me, I've tried them and spent an entire day creating a single 8 second video, no joke. Instead of getting caught up in the hype around the latest overhyped tools, I'm showing you how to use these free tools to start your faceless channel. And don't worry too much about finding the perfect niche. So many people fall into that trap and end up wasting time searching instead of actually creating. In fact, it took me less than an hour scrolling on TikTok to come up with the idea for the video we're making today. The hardest part isn't finding the perfect niche, it's just starting. You can use the exact process I'm about to show you and apply it to almost any niche, motivational content, philosophy, or something else entirely. With Canva and CapCut, the possibilities are endless. So enough talk, let's dive into creating. I'm going to use my script as a guide for the images we need to generate since we're looking for very specific visuals to align with the narrative of the video. To find Canva's AI image generator, simply go to the Elements tab, and there it is. Now let's generate our first image by typing a pot of carbs and see where that leads. Perfect, this is exactly what I needed. I'll go ahead and drag the image I prefer onto the Canva workspace, then adjust the size so it fills up most of the space. Next, I'm going to reuse the same prompt but swap the word carbs with proteins to see the results. As you can see, it's a very straightforward process. Now I'll add a new canvas and copy everything from the previous one. This way, when I insert a new image, I can maintain the same layout and positioning, which ensures that the video transitions smoothly without any jarring or bouncy jumps from one image to the next. To save time, I'll speed up the process for the remaining prompts, but the steps are just as simple and efficient. Now that I've selected all the images we need, I'm going to create a folder on my computer and save the pictures there. This will make it easy to import them into CapCut later on. Here's how to save a file from Canva on your computer. To save a file from Canva, simply go to Share, click Download, and the file should begin downloading. Alright, now we're in the web version of CapCut. To get started, the process will be similar to Canva's. You'll need to either sign in or create an account using your email. Since I already have a CapCut account, I could skip those steps. Let's dive right in and create a new project. Choose the resolution size 9x16 under the video format section. Once that's done, you'll want to jump straight to the upload button and locate the folder with all the saved images. Once you locate the folder, click upload to bring them into CapCut. Now that all our materials are in the CapCut library, I'll simply drag them onto the timeline to start editing. To move your files to the timeline, simply click on them and they will automatically be added. Always pay attention to the order of your files and make sure to start with the last file first. CapCut's timeline can sometimes rearrange files when importing, causing the first file to end up at the end. Whenever I start with the file that's supposed to be first, I often find it gets placed last, forcing me to reorganize everything. This can be both frustrating and time consuming, so keep that in mind. 
Now that I have all my files on the timeline, I'll show you how to add subtitles to your videos in CapCut. I'll be using the script I had prepared for the video, so it should be a very straightforward process. To add subtitles, simply go to the text menu. There you'll find two options. Simply drag any of them. You may be asking why not be more careful with your text choice. Hold on, you're gonna get some. Now, I'll simply copy and paste my script into CapCut. And I'll be doing that for every photo on my timeline. By simply reusing the same subtitle positioning by copying and pasting them in the timeline, then simply editing the text. At this point, all you need to do is match the timing of the subtitles with the video files. With all that done, I'll show you how to transform your subtitles into a voiceover using AI with CapCut's text-to-speech feature. To do this, simply go to text-to-speech and choose the voice you prefer. I'll be using Jesse because it's popular and easy to understand. I'll do this to every text section in my timeline. Since I am done, I'll select the every text section in my timeline and then delete them, so I can finally show you why we didn't bother about the format of our text earlier. We didn't mind all that because in addition to having a text to speech functionality, CapCut also has an auto audio to subtitles feature that will save you a lot of time. To use this feature, simply go to auto caption, make sure it's set to English and then click generate. And just like that, the captions will be generated and automatically synced to the voiceover audio. All that's left is to make a few simple adjustments to the text format. In my case, I'll simply add an outline to the text to make it more visible to the viewer. After making some further adjustments and being satisfied with the result, I decided I could finally export the video to my computer. To export a file on CapCut, simply go to Export. Before exporting, always remember to give your file a name and set a destination folder. Once that's done, just click Export. Here's the result I was able to achieve for my video in less than an hour, guys. If you eat carbs, you'll feel energized. If you eat proteins, you'll feel satisfied. If you eat proteins and carbs, you'll feel satisfied and energized. If you eat fiber, you feel full. If you eat fiber, proteins, and carbs, you'll feel full, satisfied, and energized. If you eat what you are craving, you'll feel happy. If you eat what you're craving with fiber, proteins, and carbs, you'll feel happy, have stable energy levels, feel full, feel satisfied and energized. Remember guys, the key is to start on the right foot by being valuable to people and creating content that serves their needs. Don't get overwhelmed by minor details because quality is built over time. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'd love to hear your thoughts about these tools in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Peace.